In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make a holiday Instagram template in PaintShop Pro. I'll show you how to create a background, add design elements, custom photo frames, add text, and more. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. First, open up PaintShop Pro and then go to File, New to create a new document. We're going to set the image dimensions as the default square size for an Instagram post at 1080 by 1080 pixels. To save this as a preset, click on the plus icon and then name your preset. I'll call this Instagram Post Template and press OK. Now every time you open up PaintShop Pro, you can access your saved presets from this list here. Now press OK. The first thing I want to do is add a background. For this template, I want to create a solid color background. So I'm going to click on the Flood Fill Tool icon and choose a color from the Materials palette. Then click on my document to fill the background with my desired color. Now we're ready to create the photo opening. We can do this in one of two ways. First, we could use the new Frame Tool introduced in PaintShop Pro 2022. Simply click on the Frame Tool on the Tools toolbar. Then select either the rectangle or ellipse shape from the Tool Options palette. And then draw your frame wherever you'd like to place an image. This will create a frame group layer, which holds a layer for the frame itself and for your image once you place one inside the frame. To place an image, you can go to File, Embed Image, and locate your desired image, or drag one in directly from Windows File Explorer. The image will automatically scale to fit your frame. To adjust the image within the frame, just make sure the image layer is selected in the Layers palette. Then use the nodes on the bounding box to adjust the size, position, or rotation. To move or adjust the frame and the image together, make sure the frame group layer is selected. If you don't have PaintShop Pro 2022, you can still create a mask for your images without the frame tool. Use the Shape tool to draw your desired shape. Then use the Pick tool or Alignment commands to place it where you want. Now create a selection. Since the shape is a vector object, go to Selections, From Vector Object. Alternatively, you could use the Magic Wand to select the shape. At the bottom of the Layers palette, click New Mask Layer, Show Selection. This will create a mask group and you can drag your photo right into the Layers palette under the Mask layer. Then simply use the Pick tool to adjust the size and position of the image under the Mask layer. If you want to create a border around your mask, go back to your image with the Shape selection. With the selection still active, click on New Raster Layer under the Layers palette and press OK. Then move this layer underneath the Mask group. Then go to Selections, Modify, Expand, and set the number of pixels to create the width of frame that you want. Click Preview on Image to view the border width and press OK when you're happy with it. Now you can click on the Flood Fill tool and click on the layer to fill it with your chosen color. Then press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now we're ready to add some design elements. I've opened up this vector stock file, which you can download on the tutorial page, and I'm going to show you how we can use some of these elements in our template. Choose one of the selection tools from the tools toolbar. In this case, I'm going to choose the freehand selection tool and click around the design element you want to use to select it. Then go to edit copy and then edit paste as new layer on top of our Instagram template. Once again, we can use the Pick tool to adjust the size and positioning of the design element. I'm going to repeat this process with a few other Christmas design elements from the vector stock file. We can even add some effects to make these elements stand out. Let's add a drop shadow to some of these elements by clicking on the element and then going to Effects, 3D Effects, Drop Shadow. We can play around with the settings and even change the color and press OK. You can experiment with other 3D effects like Inner Bevel to make the elements pop out even more. 
Another fun thing we can do is go to Layers, New Raster Layer. Then click on the Paintbrush tool from the Tools toolbar and select the Snow Paintbrush from the Category box. Then choose a color from the Materials palette and click around the image to sprinkle snowflakes as part of the background. And if you want to add a nice bed of snow, you can select one of the Art Media tools like Oil Brush and select white from the Materials palette. Then brush out a bed of snow along the borders. This will be added to a new Art Media layer that you can delete or adjust using the Pick tool. Finally, let's add some text to complete our template. Click on the Text tool from the Tools toolbar, and then click on your image and type out your desired text. From here, we can adjust the font type, size, style, and color. We can even add a text border by adjusting the stroke width and color. You can adjust the layer position in the Layers palette to ensure your text is visible above the other images and design elements, and simply use the Pick tool to adjust the position of the text. These are a few of the many ways you can have fun designing and creating your own holiday projects in PaintShop Pro. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.